हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस को रिलेशन ऑफ रैंडम प्रोसेस एज द रैंडम प्रोसेस इज अनप्रिडिक्टेबल बट द ऑब्जर्व सैंपल मे बी को रिलेटेड एट टू डिफरेंट टाइम्स से टी वन एंड टी टू सो द रैंडम प्रोसेस दैट इज कैपिटल एक्स फंक्शन टी एट टाइम टी वन एंड टी टू इज गिवन एज कैपिटल एक्स फंक्शन टी वन एंड कैपिटल एक्स फंक्शन टी टू रिस्पेक्टिवली and the combinedly called as ensemble which are the set of random variables now in order to determine the correlation we first define covariance of two random variables that is capital x function t1 and capital x function t2 so the covariance can be obtained using expectation operator of the two random variables which are x function t1 and x function t2 and described as covariance of x t1 comma x t2 equals to expectation of product of x t1 minus mu into x t2 minus mu where mu x t1 and mu x t2 are the mean value corresponding to random variable x t1 and x t2 respectively now open the inner bracket and after rearrangement we get expectation e function x t1 into x t2 minus mu x t2 expectation of x t1 minus mu x t1 expectation of x t2 plus mu x t1 into mu x t2 since expectation of x t1 equals to mu of x t1 and expectation of x t2 is written as mu x t2 so this makes the two terms at right side cancels and we get covariance of x t1 comma x t2 equals to expectation of x t1 into x t2 minus mu x t1 mu x t2 now in this expression of covariance the first term in right side defines the auto correlation of two random process so the covariance can be obtained using auto correlation function now in the case of complex random variable x function t the auto correlation can be written in general form as r function of t comma s equals to expectation of x t into x star s here x star is complex conjugate function also if random process xt is stationary with second order or higher order the auto correlation function that is r function t comma s is equals to r function t minus s next there is an important point regarding stationary random process in second order here the second order stationary random process is constant if the mean value is equals to 0 which means covariance and auto correlation are just identical that is auto correlation of random process equals to covariance of random process or covariance of x t1 comma x t2 equals to expectation of product of x t1 into x t2 similarly in many applications there is no requirement of stationary random process of second order but in that case it is assumed that stationary random process is required to be a wide sense stationary or weakly stationary so in general we assume that all random process of our interest are assumed to be a wide sense stationary random process now next we discuss the properties of wide sense stationary random process first property is for wide sense stationary random process mean value is always constant that is independent of time secondly the auto correlation of such type of random process depends only upon the time difference that is expectation of xt xt minus tau or expectation of xt xt plus tau is equals to r function of tau that is for all values of t and tau after this we move to the significance of auto correlation function that is denoted by capital r function tau basically auto correlation describe the interdependency of two random variables 
So let us consider a random process x function t at initial time t. Now after delay time of tau second, the random process is given as capital X function t minus tau. So the random process x function t changes to random process x function t minus tau and the interdependence between these two random process is given by autocorrelation function. When this change or fluctuation between random process xt and xt minus tau is very fast, then the autocorrelation function which is maximum at origin decreases rapidly with respect to tau. So, we get an undershoot and overshoot. But when the fluctuations of random process is very slow, then the autocorrelation function decreases slowly from maximum value of our function tau that is at origin. So it concluded that when the random process xt changes rapidly with respect to time, then at the same rate autocorrelation function decreases from maximum value at tau equals to zero. This decrease in autocorrelation function is characterized by a time called decorrelation time and denoted by tau suffix d or tau suffix naught. Here the decorrelation time is greater than delay time tau. Also as we know that in practice all the random process are considered as a wide sense stationary random process with zero mean. So on the magnitude curve of autocorrelation function decorrelation time tau suffix d is defined as a decrease in magnitude of autocorrelation function by 1% of its maximum value. Here 1% of magnitude is a assumed value. Next we discuss the properties of autocorrelation function that is capital R function of tau. As we know that autocorrelation function represents the interdependence of random process xt which is observed at time tau second apart. So the autocorrelation function is determined using expectation of the product of xt and xt minus tau or expectation of xt into xt plus tau for all values of t and tau. So the first property is the maximum value of autocorrelation function is equals to Rx function 0 that is at origin and it can be obtained using expectation of x square t and this represents mean square value. So at this point of time average power of random process xt is obtained as expectation of x square t minus tau or expectation of x square t plus tau. Now second property is autocorrelation function is the even function of tau or called as even symmetry and the condition is rx tau equals to rx of minus tau. And the third property is the maximum value of autocorrelation function that is rx tau is equals to the mean square value of rx0 that is at origin and from here we conclude an important point that is mean square value rx0 must be greater or equals to magnitude of rx tau. This can be understood using non-negative quantity of autocorrelation function. So here non-negative quantity of random process xt is expressed as expectation of xt plus minus xt minus tau whole bracket square that must be greater or equals to 0 which means it is non-negative quantity and here tau is not equals to 0. After this we expand this equality using formula of a plus b whole square. So it becomes expectation of x square t plus expectation of x square t minus tau plus minus twice of expectation of xt xt minus tau and this value is greater or equals to 0. Here first and second term is the property of autocorrelation function and it is equals to the mean square value rx0. 
and the third term is the formula of autocorrelation function that is rx tau so twice of rx0 plus minus twice of rx tau is greater or equals to 0 or we can say that rx0 is greater or equals to minus plus rx tau now in terms of magnitude we can say that mean square value rx0 is greater or equals to magnitude of autocorrelation function